On Kislev 15, 168 BCE, Antiochus Epiphanes erected a statue of Zeus, but with his own face on top of the holy altar in the temple. Ten days later, on Kislev 25, on the birthday of Zeus, he offered a pig on this altar. He sprinkled its blood in the Holy of Holies and poured out its broth over the Torah scrolls before he cut them to pieces and burnt them. The temple was converted to a shrine to Zeus. Okay, Kislev 15. Now, what do we have coming up here on November 18th and 19th? As we have shown you, this partial lunar eclipse is actually a 99.9% total lunar eclipse. For all intents and purposes, this is a blood moon. Okay. And what is this day on the Hebrew calendar? Okay. The Hebrew calendar. I mean, if we go back in history and we look, all of these stories from the past and all of the stories that we can understand in the Bible are according to the Hebrew calendar. Okay. The 15th of Kislev is the day of this blood moon. Okay. This new blood moon here that's coming up in 14 days from now is the 15th of Kislev. Okay. It was on this day in history, on Kislev 15, that Antiochus Epiphanes erected a statue of Zeus, but with his own face on top of the holy altar in the temple. Ten days later, on Kislev 25, the birthday of Zeus, he offered a pig on this altar. Okay. So if we go from the 15th of Kislev and we go forward ten days, brings us to the 29th day of November. Okay. Now, the 29th day of November is such an amazing and important day in history that we need to consider this very, very carefully. Okay. November 29th, 2021. If we go back to November 29th, 1947, and we're going to see that this is the actual first piece of the puzzle in the rebirth of Israel. Even before they were reborn on May 14, 1948, the United Nations Partition Plan for Palestine was a proposal by the United Nations which recommended a partition of mandatory Palestine at the end of the British mandate. On 29th November 1947, the UN General Assembly adopted the plan as Resolution 181. Okay, The United Nations Partition Plan for Palestine. Okay, now, what, how does this connect us with 2021? Okay, from, from 1947 to 2021, 74 years to the day. This is the 74th birthday of the Palestinian Partition Plan. Okay, Tw 74 years. So we have the 70 years of Israel, and then we have the four years of the fig tree exactly to the day from the United Nations partition plan for Palestine 70 years bringing us to November 29th 2017 and then four years bringing us to November 29th 2021 he spake also this parable a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Okay, so we have the 70 years of Israel, the fig tree, the 70 years of fig tree. Then he's coming looking for fruit. He's planting the tree. He's coming looking for fruit for three years. 
and then it gives the tree one more year. So there's the 70 years of Israel plus four years, and it's the 74th birthday from the Palestinian partition plan. Okay. Now this connects us with the 15th of Kislev and the this heavenly sign of this of this moon that's 99 now is this the sign of him leaving the 99 to go get the one it's a it's a blood moon with 99 percent i mean look at what's left here of this of this moon okay this is a 99 percent blood moon okay and he said he would leave the 99 and go get the one okay and so this is a very huge sign in the heavens on the day of the abomination the 15th of Kislev okay there's two days of the abomination between the 15th of of Kislev and then 10 days later now here's the interesting thing that that is within the story of Hanukkah it's the 10 days from Kislev 15 to Kislev 25 okay and what does it say in Revelation 2:10? Fear none of those things which thou, thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay. Going forward, ten days takes us to the 29th of November. Now, this was the day of the abomination. When on Kislev 25... The birthday of Zeus, he offered a pig on this altar. He sprinkled its blood in the Holy of Holies and poured out its broth over the Torah, Torah scrolls before he cut them to pieces and burnt them. The temple was converted to a shrine to Zeus. Jesus said, when you see the abomination of desolation, according to the prophet Daniel, when you see the abomination, okay? And now this date of the abomination is lining up exactly with the 74th birthday of the Palestinian partition plan. November 29th, 2017, bringing us to November 29th, 2021. 70 plus four years. Now going back to 2013, one of the greatest signs that really, I think, woke up more people than any of the end time signs, even before the blood moons, I mean, if you wanted to get people woken up to the blood moons that were coming, it was Comet Ison. Comet Ison was the wake-up call across the world. I mean, this was the hugest sign. This, this, the, the pictures that were coming out of this, and the, the, the absolute possibility and the thought of this actually rounding the sun and coming to Earth. I mean, this was so amazing this comet was so amazing and yet it went around the sun and it ended up disintegrating disappearing and it was lost and it, we didn't know any more about comet i sun but at the time not only myself but so many other people were looking at comet i sun and saying this is the sign of the son of man i sun comet i sun the sun is coming I uh, comet I son the sign of the son of man many people across the world were looking at comet I son as a huge sign in the heavens as a wake-up call now in 2013 what was the big thing it was Thanksgiving Thanksgiving it was the first time in so many years that Thanksgiving and Hanukkah came on the same day but it was also the exact day that between November 28th and November 29th was the perihelion event. The big event of Comet Ison was the anniversary of the Palestinian partition plan. This was Comet Ison pointing to November 28th and November 29th all the way back in 2013 eight years ago what does the 25th of kislev connect us to it connects us to the exact day of the rebirth of israel from the palestinian partition plan 70 years it connects us four years with the parable of the fig tree it connects us with the 10 days of tribulation 
from the 15th of Kislev to the 25th of Kislev, 10 days of tribulation, and it connects us with Comet Ison at the same time. All of this connected to the 25th day of Kislev. And this was the day of the abomination. And what did Jesus say? When you see the abomination of desolation, according to the prophet Daniel. Okay. Now, I want to close this message out with a passage of scripture from Haggai chapter 2. Starting in verse 18. It's going to show us the day of the shaking. Exactly on the 24th day of the ninth month. Okay, 24th. It's Hanukkah Eve, November 28th, the 24th day of the ninth month. Okay, this is the Hebrew calendar that they are following. Okay, this is this is the calendar of Israel. Okay, this connects us with the abomination event, Kislev 15 here with the blood moon. And we have this passage of scripture from Haggai chapter 2 that's going to connect us exactly. It's going to show us the day and the month of the shaking. Consider now, from this day and upward, from the 4 and 20th day of the ninth month. Even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yea, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree hath not brought forth from this day, will I bless you. From this day, will I bless you. And again, the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month, saying, Again, the word of the Lord came to Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down every one by the sword of his brother in that day saith the Lord of hosts will I take thee O Zerubbabel my servant the son of Shealtiel saith the Lord and will make thee as a signet for I have chosen thee saith the Lord of hosts. And again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. I will shake the heavens and the earth.